A hip replacement really has two main goals. Number one, to take away the pain and inflammation from your bones grinding on each other by allowing your joint to glide smoothly. And secondly, to improve the range of motion of your hip so that you can perform the activities you need to. So what actually is a hip replacement? In simple terms, it involves giving you a new ball and a new socket. The first thing we do is to remove the old worn out or rusty ball of the hip joint. Now this does require a surgeon to make a cut through the bone with a small saw. We remove the ball and also a few millimetres of bone from what we call the neck of the hip joint. That's this bone in here. So after we've removed the rusty ball and some of the neck of the hip joint, your thigh bone looks a little bit like this. You can see how there's no longer a ball or neck on top of it. Now as you might know, the inside of our bones are hollow and we take advantage of this hollow cavity inside the bone and we place a metal prosthesis down inside it, just like that. So now that metal prosthesis is sitting nice and securely inside the thigh bone. Now the prosthesis that goes down inside your thigh bone is actually made of metal. But on the outside it's got a very special rough coating. And this does two things. The first thing is it's very grippy and as it goes inside the thigh bone it grips very tightly. So as soon as your prosthesis is inserted, it's strong enough to walk on. The second function of this rough coating, which is very clever, is it enables bone to grow into it. It's exactly the same size and shape of natural bone, and so by about six weeks after your surgery, your human bone has grown into this prosthesis and securely glued it inside your thigh bone very naturally. In some patients, your surgeon may choose to use a special bone cement, and that securely cements the prosthesis inside your thigh bone. So now the prosthesis is securely fixed inside the thigh bone. The next thing we do is place a very smooth, beautiful round ball on top of the prosthesis like that, and it fits securely in place. And this becomes the new ball of your ball and socket joint. Now this particular ball is made of ceramic, but they can also be made of metal. So now we've taken away your old rusty arthritic ball and given you a nice shiny brand new one. Now the socket of your hip joint, which we call the acetabulum, is located up here inside your pelvis. So the next part of the procedure involves inserting this metal prosthetic socket into the arthritic socket of your pelvis. Now this artificial socket is made of a similar metal as your thigh bone prosthesis. It also has the same rough coating on the outside that is very grippy and that makes it stick inside your pelvis as soon as we place it there. Your bone will also grow into this prosthesis and naturally heal it in place by about six weeks. So after the metal socket is positioned, we then place a very smooth, shiny piece of plastic inside of the cup like that. Now what this does is act like the artificial cartilage inside your hip joint. Now this is a very hard wearing medical grade plastic and the technical name is high molecular weight polyethylene. But look, don't worry too much about all the technical terms. Just think of this smooth lining inside the socket as acting like the non-stick Teflon in your fry pan. But sometimes this lining can also be made of ceramic, just like the ball of the hip joint is. So unlike before, when your arthritic hip was bone grinding on bone, you now have these two beautifully smooth surfaces that can glide over each other. Now this is what takes away your pain and also improves the range of motion of your hip joint. When we look at an x-ray after a hip replacement, you can see the new socket, the new ball, and the prosthesis inside the thigh bone. Of course, what we can't see is all the muscles, tendons, and ligaments around the hip joint, because they are all invisible on an x-ray. Because we are actually replacing the bone and cartilage that has worn away from arthritis, a hip replacement is also able to lengthen your shortened leg and put it back to the same length as it was before arthritis shortened it. If you would like to talk to me about your hip, then please ring my rooms at any time to make an appointment. If you haven't already had appropriate scans, I can arrange for these to occur before I see you.